Danielle, one of the Tracy's Kids Art Therapist over at Sinai. I'm here to show you a video today on making tissue paper jars. I hope that you guys have had a chance to check out our other two movies that we've posted so far, one on paper plate animal mask making and the other on abstract canvas painting. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to check those out, those are posted too, so um, maybe watch those after you do this. I wanted to share making tissue paper jars today because I think it's something super simple that we can do at home but create a really beautiful product for either holding flowers, to keep whatever special things you want in. If you have a parent around that you can ask for help, you can put a candle inside and they look really pretty, kind of like stained glass when they glow. Um, maybe you have one of those battery operate, operated candles. So. The other thing that makes this a super cool craft is that you only need a couple things, right? We need tissue paper, we need glue, and we need a glass jar. And a glass jar can come from a lot of places. You might have an old candle holder that you want to redo or an old base that you want to redo, but you also might have some ball jars laying around. Um, this is a ball jar, that's what I used. You also might have some jelly jars or things in your refrigerator that are kept in glass jars that are almost done, and when they're done, mom and dad can wash them out um, and then you can use them afterwards. So keep an eye out for things that you can use for this project. And like I said before in my plate um, mask making tutorial that tissue paper might not only exist in your craft room but ask mom and dad if they have any gift wrapping supply and you can always use that. Um, so I made a number of tissue paper jars already. This is one where it's just a bunch of squares of tissue paper. There's this one that has, they use more like bigger rectangles. And then here's another example. So you can kind of see once you paint the um, glue on that I'm gonna show you how to do, it kind of creates this nice seal on it, but also gives it a little bit more of that stained glass kind of feel. And on this one, you can see that it kind of almost like, there's parts of it, let's see, there's a really good part here that like, almost kind of just like completely blend into each other. And that's just based off of the amount of glue and also the amount of water you'll put in your glue. And that will make sense in just a minute. So I'm gonna bring you guys down so you can see what I'm working on so that we can do one together. So this is one that I already started, um, but I'm gonna work on it and kind of do a couple pieces with you so you guys know what to do. So you just need a jar or a plate that you can put glue in, you wanna take your Elmer's glue and pour some in your jar. If you have Mod Podge at home, you can use Mod Podge, but really you can just use straight glue or you can use glue with a little bit of water mixed in. So I just have some water in this container because we're not by a sink. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here and then I'm gonna stir it up. So you can use, I have, let me clean it off so you can see. I have a sponge here um, and I just got this out of like my husband's hardware box. Um, so your parents might have something like this laying around. You can also just use a regular paintbrush. Um, it really doesn't matter anything you can kind of do to apply the glue to your jar. And so now that you've kind of stirred that, that's really all you need outside of tissue paper. So let's move some of these out of our way so that you can see. So we're just gonna, for this one, I've just been taking um, tissue paper and cutting it into triangles. Not perfect triangles, but just triangles. So what you wanna do is you wanna apply some glue onto the jar, and then you want to apply your tissue paper and then just kind of dab it on there and then you're gonna go back over it with your glue. And then you just keep going. So until you have your jar covered. So I'm gonna do a couple more pieces with you here. So as you saw, I kind of painted a bigger area because what we can do is we can kind of put multiple pieces on and then paint over it. 
but I kind of like doing it like section by section. That way my glue doesn't completely dry on me. And on this jar, I'm not overlapping the pieces, but um, the glue will dry, if you can kind of see it here, a little foggy if you just paint glue on a clear area. But I think with the little lines that are gonna be left in between, it's gonna look nice if I put um, a battery operated candle in here and the light kind of shines through not only the color, but some of the, the clear parts. So I'll add a couple more. I'll, sh I'll overlap one so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. Let's see, these are tinier, but let's find that wet spot that we were working with before. Okay, so there's some pink that I'll overlap the pink with, and that or overlap the green with, and then if I take like a darker color, like let's take some blue so you can see it. We can go right over and it'll create kind of some, some nice layers, which is kind of hard to see with the glue on here. But if you look back at like this one, you can kind of see where the pink overlaps the purple. So you can kind of still see like both colors. Um, so it's really fun to kind of, you don't have to worry about getting them right even with each other, you can kind of just overlap and that makes a really cool effect. Well, thank you guys. I know that's a pretty quick and simple um, explanation of a project, but you get a really cool product. I'd love to see pictures. Um, if anyone does this and has ones they wanna upload for Tracy's Kids, we always would love to see your artwork. Um, you can find us on Facebook or here on YouTube. All right, bye guys, have a good day.